Real commonly asked question we get is, should I spray my native grass field for annual weeds? So we're at the end of May, first part of June, and as you can tell, there's a lot of ragweed here around me. Uh, this is common ragweed, which is a fairly common problem in a native grass field, but you could also be having problems with mare's tail, um, flea bane daisy, maybe you've got some thistles, things like that. The ones that really canopy over on your bed are the annuals like ragweed, giant ragweed, common ragweed. Uh, down in the river bottoms you get a whole lot more flea bane daisy potential to canopy over. So basically, how do you assess a field and decide whether to spray? So as you can see here, uh, there's some native warm season grass. This is big blue stem and this is two year old plants poking up through this ragweed. This was an old barn lot. So we've got a whole lot of ragweed here and not other places in the field. And you can kind of see the native grass poking through, but by all means, it's taking a lot of the sunlight away from it. So I would say this obviously needs sprayed with some sort of a, a weed killer to let the natives have more sunlight and defoliate that ragweed. For this, I'd probably use 2,4-D which is what I commonly use for um, broadleaf weeds. Uh, Cerise and brush, we recommend some different things, but for just your annual broadleaf weeds, 2,4-D seems to be a good way to go. Uh, of course, check your label, make sure your weeds are on there. So this here, I would like to spray. I probably could have seen that I need to spray this probably mid-May, so two weeks ago. Um, so I could spray it now, I could have sprayed it then. There's really no point in spraying it that much earlier than that because you'll still get a lot of ragweed seed germination if you bear the soil up at the beginning of May. So about the time it starts to want to canopy, we've got a lot of growing season left. We'll take care of this ragweed. 2,4-D works really quickly. So it won't be oh, another week or so. This big blue will get full sunlight and it'll be off growing good and won't affect whether we get a stand or not. Uh, but this thickness of ragweed left unsprayed can definitely hamper your growth. Might ca cause you to have a whole nother year in developing it. Another option is if you're haying a field or grazing a field, ragweed is somewhat palatable to livestock and it's definitely palatable in hay. So you could just go ahead and mow the crop of ragweed. If you mow low, it won't come back as much. Uh, if you try to mow higher, it will refoliate really quickly and come back. So if you was gonna hay this as a means of control, I'd go really low. As far as bush hogging or mowing, there's really, I mean, it might not hurt, but the ragweed's gonna bounce back really quickly. So I wouldn't really recommend that as a means of weed control in this situation. You know, you could spray now, if you did have livestock here and you wanted to graze it first, you could put your cattle in here, get a little bit of utilization out of both the ragweed and the big blue, and then spray right after they leave. If I was to do that, I definitely wouldn't try to grace uh, my ragweed all that hard, watch your big blue stem, and use normal grazing practices, even though there's not a lot that you see, take them out when the big blue's been grazed down to that 10 to 15 inch range. So that would be my recommendation and spray right after that. Uh, you got, most time you got a withdrawal period for your chemical before you can come back and graze. So you might as well let it be doing some regrowing at that time. But you don't have to graze it to get it ready. It's ready to spray anytime. Let's look over here beside me. Uh, this is the rest of the field, kind of outside of the barn lot. As you can see in the video, we got very scattered ragweed out here. Um, but for the most part, you don't, even behind me, you see scattered ragweed. But it's by no means thick and canopying this field of big blue stem. So in this situation, I just recommend you graze or hay as normal. It's not going to affect the overall long termness of your planting. So I really wouldn't think it'd be economical to do anything about it, but it also depends on your goals and objectives. Maybe you're wanting really clean hay or just the looks of the aesthetics of it bother you. In that case, 2,4-D will do what you need to do and just go ahead and put it on uh, before, you know, put it on about now, put it on after a graze, doesn't really matter.